Turno led his undefeated Nittany Lions to Ann Arbor, Michigan to take on the Wolverines, looking to extend the nation's third longest winning streak. Penn State came into the game ranked eighth in the country. And while many of their freshmen have been getting a lot of attention, the leadership of senior quarterback Michael Robinson has been a key in the Lions' leap to the top of the Big Ten Conference. And he orchestrated an encouraging game-opening drive. Motion toward us by King. They give it a King swinging near side. First down, 30. Just into the 34-yard line. Good snap to Robinson. High, waits, rolls near side. Gets a block from Hunt, 35, 40. 45, he stepped out of bounds. Second and two. Hunt. Up the middle, Hunt first down, 45, spun around at midfield to the Michigan 49, and a first down. A strong running again by Tony Hunt, and Tony Hunt with a leg drive at midfield gets the first down. They pitch it to Williams. He's got Burgess to feet, goes by him to the 50, 45, 40, out of bounds, near side, inside the 40. Prescott Burgess, that time was faked. In front of a network TV audience and yet another crowd of more than 100,000 in person, Penn State put together a 13-play drive that was working so well, it gave them the confidence to go for it on fourth and two. Pitch to Hunt, following Snow, Tony to the 30, first down to the 25-yard line to the 24. They not only got a first down, they got six on that play. Tony Hunt continues to talk softly but carry a big role as the go-to guy for tough ground yards. Penn State got to the 14-yard line, and they tried to get on the board with a field goal. The angle is to Kevin's left. Good snap, put down by Gannon. The kick by Kelly is up, and the kick by Kevin Kelly is no good. Penn State linebacker Paul Puzlazny had been named Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week for the third straight time, the first player ever to do that. And he and the rest of the defense made sure the Wolverines' first possession of the day wouldn't last very long. On second and 10 from their own 36, back goes Henning. Screen again to Hart. Good blocks in front, and what a play by Connor to take him down at the 43-yard line. While Penn State's offense is sprinkled with freshmen, their defense is a group of seasoned veterans who have allowed just one first-quarter touchdown this season. Four-man rush. Seth drills it down. Theopropano makes the catch. No, out of bounds. Harrell hit him, and Abad did not make the catch. He dropped it. This defense forces a three-and-out for the 32nd time this season. It would be a defensive first half with both both sides giving up ground grudgingly. Michigan never crossed the 50-yard line until halfway through the second quarter. Right side, Pazlozny, the three-time Big Ten defensive player of the week, takes down Hart. Back goes Henning, sets pressure, throws down field, complete. Back goes Henning, pressure from four. And Alford is the one that got there first, and down he goes. Push up the middle like this. Alford just coming off the football. He just refuses to be blocked. That kind of mentality is why Penn State leads the Big Ten in sacks. Offensively, they started the second quarter deep in their own territory, but they started the same way they did the first, with a well-planned drive that lasted for 12 plays. Unfortunately, it would end the same way. Back goes Robinson, throws far side, for way in 40, 45, 50, Clark, 40, far sideline, 30, 25, and out of bounds. I think they say he stepped out at the 37, but Derek Williams, Jack, in stride. Mike threw a great ball that time. Robinson on third and two at the 29. Option play for Far side, he'll keep it and go. Michael battled, Massey grabs him, and I think he's going to be a half yard short. Snaps on the money, put down, the kick is up, that's not going to get there. In fact, that snap was low. Having little success with their conventional offense, Michigan finally got into Penn State territory with a direct snap to Antonio Bass. The quarterback Chad Henney lined up wide. Chris Sorrell and the Penn State defense would stop the drive, but not before the Wolverines were close enough to try for three. Kick is up by... Rebound, the kick is good, so Michigan has hit its one field goal attempt, and that's why they lead 3 nothing. And that's the way the half would end. Penn State dominated the clock and the statistics, but trailed where it mattered, setting the table for a memorable second half. The shadows lengthened in the late afternoon sun at Ann Arbor, providing an interesting backdrop for a Penn State team back in the national spotlight and a Michigan team that was trying to get there. Hard drop play, first down, 50, 40, track down. The Wolverines came out swinging, set the tempo for what would be a completely different half. Here we go, Hart left side, hit at the goal line, touchdown, Michigan. This was only a warm-up to the fireworks that were to follow, and Penn State was more than willing to provide them on both sides of the ball. Hart, 
Hit by Paxson, breaks that tackle. Hit by Harrell, breaks that. Then Holly cleans him up at the 33-yard line. Third down and four. Back goes Henning. Sets up. Waits. Rolls right. Through a seam. Hit at the 36 and fourth down. Penn State had moved the ball against Michigan, but had not been able to take advantage of their opportunities. That, however, was about to change. Well, he bottled the snap, picks it up, he's in trouble. Rolls to his right, gets away from Blanche, throws for an open goal to the 50. Near sideline, 40, 35, 30, to the 25, 20, stumbles at the 13-yard line. You know what they say about the best laid plans, but Michael Robinson's improvisational skills help Penn State acquire a large chunk of prime Ann Arbor real estate against the best pass defense in the Big Ten. Kevin Kelly got another chance. Down, pop, kick is gone. Penn State makes us a one-score game. Setting the scene for what would be one of the most incredible fourth quarters in Penn State history, perhaps in college football history. Tom Bahali, Matt Rice and company helped Penn State get the ball back. And Michael Robinson knew who to give it to. Tony Hunt, right side, 40, Tony, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15 to the 10 to the 5, inside the 5, and finally knocked out at the 2-yard line. Good. The Sydney lies to the doorstep of tying it. Tony Hunt was on his way to another 100-yard rushing game, but the Wolverines dug in, and by third down, Penn State had lost two yards. Back to pass, short drop, quarterback draw, to the goal line, touchdown, Penn State! I tell you, Michael Robinson, he sells it. He sells it like he's going to be back in the pocket to throw the football. And on third down, drives in the end zone for the touchdown. The game is tied. But it wouldn't be for long. After being kept out of the end zone all day, Penn State would find it twice within 17 seconds. Chris coming, and he steps up and gets away. 30, 35, stood up by Harrell, who takes it away. 25, 20, 15 to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Penn State. Alan Zemitis in making a tackle went for the football. The great job of taking the football away. Penn State was making their own breaks, even when they botched the snap on the extra point. Foot down. Kick is up. No, they roll to his left now. Kelly's going to try and run it for two points. Kelly to the goal line. He's got the two points. Kevin Kelly, the place kicker, runs it in for two. It is now an 18-10 game, and everything has dramatically changed here in the last five minutes. Okay, Kevin Kelly ends up a bot snap. He ends up picking it up, and he turns into Tony Hunt. <laughs> but there was a long way to go before the sun set on this one. Penn State had quieted the stadium, but the Wolverines bared their teeth and bit back, getting a big kick return from Steve Breston to start what would be a game-tying drive. Back goes Henny, pressure, steps up, far, deep, far side, king on the coverage, Manny Hans got it, touchdown Michigan! Going for two, hard up the middle, two points, game tied at 18. Oh boy, it's never easy, is it? Not in the Big Ten. When Penn State had to punt it back to Michigan, it seemed like the momentum had switched again as they moved into field goal range with under four minutes to play. 47-yard attempt, trying to get Michigan the lead. It's put down. He'll kick it. It's on its way, and that kick is good. Michigan leads at 21-18 with 3.45 to go. Now things really appeared dark for Penn State. Freshman Derek Williams got hurt returning the kickoff and then what looked like the last straw. Michael Robinson threw his first interception in 104 passing attempts. They rush for it. Back goes Robinson. Throw for Norwood, picked off by Leon Hall, 45-40, Hall, 45-30, 25-20. Game over. Penn State's defense said no. Three plays, punt. That left Michael Robinson with 81 yards and no timeouts to work with. Throws for Golden, breaks a tackle, 25. Terrell Golden, first down. Good snap to Robinson, back to pass. Time, throws it up down the middle. Norwood makes a tough catch at the 45. 
Penn State fans had seen this movie before in the final minutes at Northwestern. Fourth down, seven. They need the Michigan 31 to keep this game alive. Rolls near side, looking, gets a block from Hunt 35. Michael to the sidelines, first down. Right now, they're going for a lot more than just a field goal. And they would have a chance for that touchdown when Terrell Golden got position on Leon Hall, who was called for pass interference. 58 seconds left. Robinson back to pass. He'll run it. Mike to the right, to the goal line. Touchdown, Penn State. And in the clutch, the Nittany Lions deliver again. The Nittany Lion traveling party was delirious, and as Kevin Kelly kicked off, he seemed to pin Steve Breston in the corner. 10, 15, 20, got it covered. 30, there he goes. 35, swings it near side. It's a foot race to the 40. To the 45. 25, 21, Penn State, 42 seconds left. Back goes Henny, slings it near side for a front, makes the catch. He's okay, out of bounds. This is an out of bounds play, and I'll tell you right now, they're going to have to review this. He's out of bounds. They better call it. Penn State can't. He was out of bounds. The play was not reviewed, and the 17-yard gain stood. The drive continued. Michigan against the clock. Penn State against Michigan. College football at its best. They've got one, maybe two plays. Back goes Henny, trying to win it. Play action. Got time. Throws. Incomplete for Preston. What a play by King with one second left. Henny, back to pass. Trying to win it. Fires in the end zone. It was a tough one to swallow. It was a great one to watch. Penn State still leads the Big Ten, but now they have a little company.